Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, so, Chaff and Stinger. <laughs> okay, we got four. You run out of Chaff, try moving towards Rex, preferably between the legs. And the missiles won't hit you. Be careful of Rex's laser and its feet stomping. If the stomp hits you directly, you will be killed instantly. Since Snake runs faster with any grenades equipped, it, always have one in hand when switching from Stinger. Where am I supposed to hit this bitch? Bait out Rex's laser by running towards and away from it and dodge the machine gun by running side to side. Also, Stingers can deal some serious damage if correctly shot manually. So the, am I supposed to avoid the... That's, if you have the chaffs up, he can't do his missiles. Okay. Hit the drum thing. Hit the drum thing on the side. All right, finish this fight. Fuck you, Dolphy! <laughs> oh, he's got one more. Oh, nice, and you just picked up some chat. Did I? Yeah. You mean it? I think so. Woohoo! Yeah, just what I needed. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh shit! Between the legs. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! Curb stomp. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Jesus Christ! You finished. Yes. Snake. Holy shit! I'll take care of him. Get away! Great Fox, the name's a long ago. It sounds better than you. <laughs> so it is you. You're the terrible snake. You haven't aged well. I'll send you back to hell! Oh, he's got a gun. What the fuck are you gonna do with that? Couldn't have done that sooner. Yeah. Boss, why? What do you want from me? <laughs> he was already dead. <laughs> dead. Only you can see me. Boss, me. stay out of this. What about Naomi? She's hell bent on taking revenge for you. Naomi? You're the only one who can stop her. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. I was young then, and couldn't bring myself to kill her too. I felt so bad that I decided to take her with me. I raised her like she was my own blood to soothe my guilty conscience. Oh, so they weren't actually blood related. What is going on over there? <laughs> yeah. But every time I looked at Should her, we, we be, uh, I saw worried about her that? parents' eyes staring back at me. Tell her for me. Tell her that I was the one who did it. There you are. We're just about out of time. Here's a final present from Deep Throat. I'll stop it from moving. Wakanda forever. <laughs> Oh, that looks great at 10 FPS. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. It does matter. <laughs> Kamehameha! Oh, shit. We don't hunt foxes. We hunt jackals. Instead of foxhounds, we use royal harriers. Fox. How strong is that exoskeleton of yours? <coughs> Snake! Are you just going to sit by and watch him die? Yes. Corner <laughs> is more dangerous than a jackal. Just 
inside the radar. Impressive! Nah. You are indeed worthy of the code name Fox, but now you're finished! Finished! No! Fire the stinger! Fox, can you really shoot? You'll kill him too! Yes, do I it! Can. Just do it! No! In front of no good. B B B B B B. Oh, Snake's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Can I shoot you instead? Uh, shit. I mean, I'm just stuck here. So. Um. Can't do it. Um. Can't do it. He says I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, hold on. Oh, he just okay. to just shoot the cockpit. And it says, I think chaps are useless at this point. Okay. So, yeah, just go for the cockpit. Oh, what fucking ever. Are you what? serious? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, the stun grenades are perfect for the second half of the battle. It is possible to, to stay just under Liquid's nose and fire Stinger from between Rex's legs. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so I guess just shoot him up the butt? Don't fuck it up. <laughs> no. There he is, he's stopping. Oh my god, he's stopped! Just die! No! <laughs> Back to that ass up. He's like a cornered beast, Snake. You never know what he's gonna do. Shit. Come on, you bastard. Oh. I can't see you shit. Right there! Finish it! Right on! Yes! <laughs> oh my god, finery! I don't think so. Ah. Holy shit. This Metal Gear. That was pretty tough. I do like that fight though, Loki. Stupid. I don't like it. <laughs> If you have no idea what you're doing, that can be very tough, though. Ooh. <laughs> it's going for the bag. Snake. Out of... I come to kill you, Snake. You are a very stupid American. Stupid American. Ah, right, what is it? Snake. Liquid. You're still alive. I won't die. As long as you still live. Too bad. 
It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I'm done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were. As we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish! <sighs> when he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things are oh, different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place no. in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. You should know that as well as I do. I don't. After I don't. launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world god soft. Conflict will breed conflict. New hatred will arise. Then we'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Even if seizure. Mother knew what type of a Sonic, get me down from here. I'm going to have seizure. Isn't it reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You! Ah. <laughs> so why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come? It's a good point. <laughs> well, I'll tell you that he was told. You enjoy the killing. That's why. Oh, this is kind of meta. Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? That was. <laughs> I watched your face when you did it. It was filled with the joy that you're wrong. There's a killer inside. You're wrong. You don't have to deny it. We were created yes, to be that <laughs> way. Created? Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog clothing and the super baby man. Super baby method. They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses oh. to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder. No, it's church gone. The day we were even born. Hmm. When did that happen? So it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly. I mean, he's wearing the shirt when he passed DNA. out, so Liquid must have taken it off of him. <laughs> they weren't finished yet. Mm. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all of the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born! It's not but true. You and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But they're different. They're digital. With the completion of the Human Genome Project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to Father's DNA, they were <laughs> able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those <laughs> That's good, soldier Gima. genes were transplanted into the members of the next generation special <laughs> forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. <laughs> That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing are our brothers with the same genes as ours. The genome soldiers? That's right. 
They are our brothers, created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. Sacrifices? Human experiments! <laughs> Every time Snake talks, he's just like, what? The Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the anti-tank rounds. <laughs> and that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First, they tried to say it was post-traumatic yeah. stress disorder, <laughs> then <laughs> biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti-sarin injections, they were all just a cover-up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes, they too are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We are on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? <laughs> Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. So do I. As do you. But. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. In nature, family members don't mate with each other and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene theory. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond. In order to break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, first, I will kill you. But I'm kind of tied up. Look behind you! Whoa! Is she alive? I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No! We have no past, no future, and even if we did, it wouldn't be truly ours. You and I are just copies of our father, Big Boss. Let Meryl go. As soon as we've finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. <coughs> it seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Okay. Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. Why are you what is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. 
I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? What? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved oh, of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Hausman. Put the Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the President would want the same thing. The President ordered this? The President is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. Well, the bombs will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Farewell. Oh, shit. There's no way out. Us. Let's finish this before the air strike. All right. You stole everything. It says, "Just me. land your kicks." Only your death. Can you don't have any weapons. Nope. Only your death can return to me what is rightly mine. You make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. It will be the time limit for our final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her death. <laughs> so there's an airstrike and a time bomb. Just like, alright. How risque. Three minutes. If you win, got you for three minutes. Well, actually, I lost that. Actually, like, yeah, 2.45, maybe. moment of love before the end. If you cross this line... Jesus. Fall, ...at this height, it will kill even you. Get no fucking shit. Have at you, snake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you get any eye frames when you come up, yeah. No, I don't get shit. Oh, you guys, that three-piece chicken McNugget. He's got a bull true. He's got dodges. He's got...
blocks. All right, just act like health doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm at a full bar. It right matters. Now. <laughs> it matters so much. <laughs> I think it oh, matters. Oh God, no! Not He's like this. Vulture. Not like this. No! <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this boss. Yeah, just just bait that out another like two times and you win. <laughs> I'm not too confident in that. I gotta go in. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fucking kick to the chin and you're dead. <laughs> he just has to cough on me. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, just get him! <laughs> oh my god! He's just do it, right, please. <laughs> just, just please! Do it, please. Just kill him, please. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Alright, that hitbox was that some was bullshit. Some bullshit. <laughs> no! Oh! <laughs> I gotta Pro get out of jail Pro free. <laughs> he still got gas in the tank. He is super sand lesbian. Just do it! Yes! Yeah, fuck you. Oh my god. Why aren't you dead? Oh. He keeps getting oh, what his health the fuck? back. Oh my god, do you just have to survive? What the hell? I don't think so. How many times- do you have to- oh, you might have to do them off a ledge. Fucking serious. Fuck you! Okay. Yeah! Holy shit. <laughs> oh. Wow, good thing we, uh, yeah, good thing you did that. <laughs> you had like 12 <laughs> seconds left. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I killed him like five times. Yeah. Meryl. Alright, now we got the Master Chief. Uh, get in the Warthog and get out of here section. Do you want me to do this? No. Alright, it's not too hard. Time for a romantic escape. Together. If you don't have Meryl, you escape with Ocelot. Or, not Ocelot. Yes. Sorry, not Ocelot. You escape with Otacon. <laughs> Ocelot's like, this is weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grab the ration ahead of you and head for the garage. An alarm is tripped by your companion. You have to hold off the guards until the jeep is ready. I didn't give in to the torture. Okay. Torture. And things even worse than that. I was fighting too, just like you. Okay. You're a strong woman. Fighting them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. She like got her knee in but his it stomach. Made me realize something. Maybe. During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. A single hope that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. Snake. I wanted to see you again. Meryl. That's my Kodak. Do you have a boner snake? Uh -oh. Snake. Uh -oh. It's me. Onicon. Good news. Meryl's okay. All right. You saved her, man. Good job. <laughs> Good job, man. I got some bad news, too. We're about to be bombed. Do I, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> this is himself. <laughs> is there a way out of here? A way out? Do <laughs> uh, Yeah. You can take yeah. the tunnel to the surface. Otacon is a good voice. Right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No. It's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Security. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security. Who the fuck you think you're talking to? <laughs> He's confident as fuck now. Like to do? I'll stay I guess here. Gonna die. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But unlocking the security route is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon. Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Snake. I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. Yeah, the moment Don't die on fresh me. off the chart. 
Take care of Meryl, okay? I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Well, that sounds nice. I believe in you. Thanks, Snake. <laughs> God, don't. <laughs> You're putting a lot of faith in me, buddy. What about him? Ah, fuck Where's right. Otakon? Otakon? He's... There is a ration you gotta grab. <coughs> I have to grab it? Well, you should With grab his it. Self. To be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us too? Yeah. And I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. Oh, I wonder if you'll have any of your weapons. You might not. There's a fucking bomb, Meryl. There's my sneaking suit. Oh, there's all his shit. Hurry up. <laughs> there's my sneaking suit that was folded up by liquid. Hurry. What is she wearing? Mm. Looking good, Snake. <laughs> oh yeah, she's wearing like the misty vest. Dead. Damn that. <laughs> <laughs> you had half a second to get out of it. <laughs> okay, grab the ration as you head out of the garage. Uh, there is another. There is another ration southwest corner of the jeep. I'll drive. I don't think that's a uh, good idea. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. Don't no shoot. Is me, there a please. ration? Hold on a minute. Oh, there yeah, yeah, goes. okay, okay, that's big. That's very big. Whoa! <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it. Okay, that's fine. Please just run them over, Meryl. Nice. Yes. Fuck you. Okay. We're good. Yep, just get them Larry's on and let her rip. Gotta have that health bar for confidence. Just left and right. Yeah. And I don't think the bullets have a lot of travel time. <laughs> I think it's uh just sight lines. See that's yeah, bullshit. He ducks down. He starts blinking and shit. Fuck you. <laughs> Halo Reach. <laughs> Are you ready? Halo Reach. Nice. As long as you're getting hits. Nice. 
Nice. I am literally right next to you. God damn. <laughs> they got a cutscene, although I think he took some damage. <laughs> he would have just cockboxed me. <laughs> I Is saved my mushroom just for this snake. <laughs> Is it over? I think it's over. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's over. Yep. Damn, they give you seven minutes for that? <laughs> Holy shit. For ten minutes total, I guess. That better be liquid, goddammit. Oh, no. Are you okay? Actually, I'm yeah. crushed. <laughs> <laughs> Meryl, can you move? A, a jeep just no fucking good. fell on us. I can't move. What happened to liquid? Luigi. I can't see him either. Ah, he's probably dead. Not yet, Snake. <laughs> Uh-oh. Snake! Snake! Take your shirt back off. You're not gonna believe this. <laughs> yep. Can you hear me? <coughs> Are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Everyone's Early getting arrested. <laughs> yeah, for real. I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. <laughs> ah, the F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Oh, Bill and Bug Eye Boy. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. No, 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 Snake. no, no, no. I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. Yeah, no okay, shit. Colonel. Snake. Snake. I'm not a colonel. Huh. Oh, that's right. I'm a plumber. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. There's a Nintendo Maybe Switch wrapped up in a gift photos. box. Are you fucking serious? You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. Now That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I oh, understand. so Otacon will live. To me. Obviously. Okay, Roy. Are you going to be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nano machines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in his programming. What about me? 
It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mayling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He killed your parents. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Oh yeah. Naomi. Your brother Good just move saved not you telling her about me Oh yeah, he murdered your parents. The whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. Maybe. Maybe now he's finally found some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. No odd. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time's up. Yeah, so when's my Why can't up? you just tell him? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Oh my god. Live, Snake. That's all I can say to you. Wow. <laughs> Uh, let's get on these snowmobiles and get that Nintendo Switch and get the Each fuck out of here. Born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. I am. I don't know why it uh, Fox Eye affected him at that moment. Not where you when you were tussling with them for the last thirty minutes. Yeah. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA because I wanted to know who I was, where I came. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. And I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. <laughs> you mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm going to choose life too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. From here on, I'm going to just live. Genes exist to pass down our hearts. God, don't care. What a surprise. Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other. Teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. Colonel, did you put gas in this? <laughs> I finally realized it. God, oh, shit. It's the true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. He just <laughs> runs off about it. Look, I found this. A big purple dildo. As a reminder. <laughs> what is that? What? A reminder of a successful like a... mission? Or the first time we met. Is it a headband? A reminder of how the Oh I guess it's the bandana he uses in MGS2. For infinite ammo. Until today. Oh it actually is, yeah, so. He tells right in that straight up. Yeah, after the end credits, you will be awarded with a code name based on your game performance and a special item for your next playthrough. Either infinite ammo, either infinite ammo, bandana, or stealth camo. I don't know. Maybe it's 
I wonder what bandana much. does. Infinite ammo. What about now? No, it says infinite ammo, bandana, or stealth camo. It's probably like three separate items. Yeah, it sounds like it. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Oh, to get infinite to get infinite ammo, bandana, you have to withstand Ocelot's torture. Yeah. So. Where to, Snake? Oh, and if they, if you fail it, then Otacon hands you his stealth. Okay, so where to, Dave? And then you do the. What's his real name, Dave? I think it's time we look at the new path. I have to rewatch that. I, I didn't hear. A new path. So yeah, Otacon gives you um, <clears throat> stealth we'll camo and your next playthrough. I know we'll find it. If you fail the torture sequence. What are those? Caribou. For the illusions, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. Oh, I miss Master. <laughs> you tell me all about this. <laughs> spring brings me. I miss that man. <laughs> it's a time for hope. <laughs> He's a drive right into him. Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, most of all. Yeah. Ooh. I fucking hate Alaska. <laughs> I'm gonna like this new life. Come on. Let's enjoy life. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's not starting. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel, can we get some gas? <laughs> it's going five miles an hour. <laughs> Sounds like a lawnmower. <laughs> Alright, so there is another scene. I don't know if it's after the credits or right now. Hiroshima. Hiroshima. Yay, less nukes. 2000 is still a lot. Where do they go? There's still a lot of nukes. So this is just Kojima saying nukes are bad, guys. Just imagine if they had Metal Gear. Hey, we did it. Metal Gear God Solid 1. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. James Flinders. So, what'd you think, Ryan? Any last thoughts? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not going to play that one again <laughs> anytime you know, soon. That is, what I, <clears throat> that is what I thought initially after beating it. It is definitely rough around the edges. Um, I love all the items. I love the... Emphasis on sneaking. I think it can be a good time moving around. The gunplay and um, the gunplay and just the general um, item usage. The bosses, I should say, can be a bit annoying here and there. But I think all in all, it still holds up. The the bosses, while they are hard and like bullshit at times, I think they're all different. And they all offer, like, very memorable experiences. Like, you have the Torture Sequence, Psycho Mantis. They're all very unique and, um... Sniper Wolf. You know, like, you always will remember those bosses. There aren't many they bosses. you off. Yeah, there aren't many bosses that you just glaze over. But I still think this game holds a, you know, big part in just, like, gaming history in general. And, like, all of my... Everybody who's older than me, like, everybody who grew up with the PlayStation 1, this was just, like, a huge game. Oh, that yeah. they all played and... Uh, talked about just I mean how good it looked the story and everything because I mean playing this you know with the story um, You know without all of the Metal Gear games we have today It was kind of its own secluded self-contained story that you could uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just dragging his nuts <laughs> That you could, um, whoa, you know you it's a story that is so open and you can make all of these uh you know, there's a lot of loose ends and, and yeah. lies that were told to you. Like, we're about... I'm just going to talk about this one in case we don't get to it. So, the ending scene... <laughs> <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the ending scene is... It's uh, Ocelot talking to the president. Essentially telling you that, hey, Ocelot was in on this. And so was the president. Um, and they're talking about Solidus. How... Because remember how Liquid was like, um, you know, we had 
we had six other brothers and they yeah. were all sacrificed to do this. But I think there are actually nine um, fetuses. And I, I think it is true that six of them were sacrificed, but there was another one, and that other one being Solidus. Yeah. So I I think we're about to get that tool same, you but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, all, all in all, I think it's it's a you know it's a solid ha 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 game. Um, you know, that you, I think anyone can run through, even for just like the story and the cinematics hold up so well even today. Like yeah. the cinematics are so good. I think if you sit down, like, listen to all the codec stuff and really get involved, like, it can be a really good time while the gameplay is still pretty rough around the edges. Um, and then you switch to disc two and then lose everything. <clears throat> yeah, that was really odd. I don't know if that's a PlayStation 2 thing or what. I, I did find one game facts <clears throat> uh, post talking about it, but is there anything you want you want to say? Is this how does this hold up compared? Because you've played all the other Metal Gears. You've no, played, I haven't played four. You played two and three. Um, yup. Which other ones? Just two and three. Rising. Oh, and Rising. Yeah. A little bit of Phantom Pain. Is Rising your favorite? You would say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The story is really stupid. <clears throat> how does it go to? Uh, how does it compare to t two and three? Which one do you say your best? Your favorite story wise. Um, two. Yeah, I know you like two a lot. It's cause it's stupid. Two is, is is two like wackier than this. Yeah. Cause this this is like oh, it's yeah. cheeky. This one is you know it's it there's a lot of like you know weird lines and like the whole Meryl's ass thing and the <clears throat> um you know like the psycho mantis thing. There's a lot of crazy stuff in this. You <laughs> kind of missed out on that. <laughs> but it it does. It knows when to take itself seriously and to be hammy and stuff, and it's, you know, I I think that's what really, like, that's why I really like this game, is because of the hamminess. It's, it's just it, not like anything else. Yeah, it doesn't take itself too seriously, and there's a lot of, like, you know, 180s where, it, yeah, you get, like, that Meryl's ass scene and stuff, so, yeah, I really like it. Um, it was, it was a good time. <clears throat> Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> It's like you have a phone, you're not getting shot at. Mm. Yeah, the uh, like that that Jeep sequence at the end sucks. Yeah, like that's I do like that Metal Gear fight. I think the Metal Gear fight is actually a lot of fun. I, um, do th I think the bosses in two were a little more enjoyable. Really? Yeah. yeah. Were they were they easier? Were they like more cinematic? Not that they're really cinematic, just different things than just shooting the guy every time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you still do that for a lot of bosses. But. Yeah, I do. I do like that in this game, like that Metal Gear fight. You're always shooting him. Like yeah. you always have the ability. To shoot. It's not like a wait and you know wait for the weak points. He's always things. shooting you. Yeah. To be ruled by your genes. So I, I think we talked about this, how every every um, entry in the series is connected to a four-letter word, I think. The first one's Gene, the second one's Meme, the third one is, um, I forget, but second one is Meme as in memetics, or it, it doesn't, it, it's not like the meme that we know. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, here it is. unit was wiped out. Those two are still alive. <coughs> Not even me. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. Yes, the inferior one was the winner after all. Mmm. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Yes, sir, I agree completely. It takes a well-bounced individual such as yourself to rule the world. Is Solidus the president? Yeah. Oh shit, I didn't even know that. I'll keep her under surveillance. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. We'll get you a new hand. Mr. Wow. President. 
Holy shit. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's crazy. Yeah, no, it's good. I'm glad to have it done. I'm not going to play it again for a while. <laughs> so Alright, what did we get? Normal 12 hours, 12 hours and 30 minutes. Holy shit. Yeah, I got Continue it. 107 times. Being found. Oh, yeah, we got caught 52. Enemies, 213. Rations, 147. Codename, Elephant. I kind of want to look up the code names really quick. And then we'll call right, it. We're eating all those rations, you know. Yeah, dude, we were chomping on those rations. Uh, MGS1 code names. You can say goodbye as I'm going to go pee. Alright. I'll make it back. It's been real. Alright. So for code names, we got. Oh my god. I d oh, we actually didn't get the first one. So it depends on your finishing time and your difficulty, it looks like. And rations used. We got elephant, which is like middle of the pack. I would actually say uh, it's actually lower. So, yeah. Lower than that was hippopotamus, turtle, and chicken. chicken. Ab above that is deer, zebra, jackal, eagle, panther, fox, and big boss. So, Big boss. Yeah. The, this... This wiki is saying, though, it's like, if you have a time above six hours, then you get rank of turtle. But we got 12 hours, so it definitely takes other things into account. So I don't know. But we didn't get the worst one, so I will uh, hang yeah. my I will hang my hat on that. All right. Forever. All right. Well, it was a good playthrough. I'm glad we finished it tonight. A little longer than I thought it was going to be, but uh, it, was, it was good to, to come back to this game and, you know... Put it to rest. Put it to rest on the old PlayStation dose. So I will catch you all later. Have a great rest of your night. Peace Love out. You. Tippy waitresses. Bye. -bye.